all new Land Rover LR2. Hello and welcome to Tech 101. I'm Eric Hesseldahl, Senior Technology Writer here at BusinessWeek.com. This is our weekly video podcast segment where we do our best to answer your questions about technology. So send us your questions. The email address is tech101 at BusinessWeek.com and we'll do our best to help you solve your problems. Our question this week comes from Ray in Provo, Utah. He's a little concerned about the security on his computer. After years of using a dial-up modem to get on the internet, I recently upgraded to a fast cable modem. I like the speed, but can't help but feel that my computer is exposed to nasty things that I can barely imagine. I keep hearing about something called a firewall, but I don't really know where to begin in setting one up. Well, Ray, you're right to be concerned. There are indeed a lot of nasty things out there on the internet that could definitely jump onto your computer when you're not looking. Uh, and you're right, your intuition is correct. You do need something called a firewall to kind of help control that problem a little bit. Uh, essentially what a firewall does is it acts like the big thick neck guy you might see standing behind the velvet rope in an exclusive uh, night spot. Uh, in this clay case, the exclusive club is your computer. You want to know who's coming in and who's leaving. And so the firewall essentially takes care of that by monitoring various kinds of connections out to the internet that come in and go out. Now, what you may not know, and, is, and this applies is if your computer is a fairly recent vintage and it's running Windows XP Service Pack 2, aka XPSP2, uh, you have your own firewall already pre-installed on the computer for you and you may not even know it. So I'm going to show you that right now. So here you see the uh, Windows Firewall tab from within uh, the control panel settings on your, on your Windows PC. And you can see I have it on, and by and large you should have yours on unless you have another firewall, but we'll talk about that in a minute. And what I've done here is uh, turned it on, and then I've also created a list of exceptions for various things that I use on a regular daily basis so that they don't get impeded. Basically. For your exclusive club, this is the guest list. This is the VIP list. So you see I have Gizmo Project, I have Firefox, iTunes. All these programs have complete, inf have complete permission to access the Internet when and how they see fit because I, the user, have given them permission to do that. So there's my list. QuickTime, RealPlayer, Skype, and so forth. So worth taking a look inside your computer to make sure you have this firewall and if you do make sure it's turned on and then if you ever have any problems with various programs that are having trouble reaching the internet make sure they're on that list now that's a good start but you may want a little bit more control and there's a lot of third-party firewall programs out there on the market the one that I tend to prefer is uh, Zone Alarm Pro now the good thing about Zone Alarm Pro is that there's a free version called Zone Alarm. So to get started with Zone Alarm, here's what I recommend. Uh, you go to zonealarm.com and I would download the free version first and give it a try, see how you like it. Um, and if, it's, uh, if, it, if you feel like it's your cup of tea, I uh, certainly give uh, my own endorsement to Zone Alarm Pro, which you can get for $40. But give the free version a try first and see how you like it, see how you uh, take to managing it. And uh, if you like it, uh, you can upgrade to the Pro version.